let's keep the party moving. We're moving on to the move to zero portion of our videos. Yes, I would really love to be doing some Adidas or Saucony or Clay or Community Made. Just like everybody else, man, Nike's sales are exploding. My sales are all in Nike, so I have to just do what I can. And hopefully you still appreciate it. Since so many people are buying Nikes, I'm sure you appreciate it. But the Move to Zero box is Nike's plan to become a more sustainable company. And I'm starting to see these boxes more often. I had a big complaint about Nike um, touting sustainability when the reality is they are... Uh, they make far too many shoes to ever be considered a sustainable company. But this is an Air Force One, and it does have a QC stem. So I'm going to come back to that as I get into this authentication. So let's put those down and go through this with you guys so we can authenticate. Uh, Nike AF1 Crater Flyknit. Doesn't say Air Force One spelled out. That would be far too long for the label. AF1 Crater Flyknit. Now the crater obviously refers to the ground material that's nike grind in that footbed and the insole should come out it's sticky it's sticky but it's also made with nike grind it's sticky i don't want to pull it all the way out but you can see a little bit of that nike grind and i'm going to stick that back down the debray here is a leather so typically you have a tpu or a metal uh, Dubray, but that Nike on there, that Dubray is leather. The rest of the shoe, the swoosh is Durabuck, the heel Durabuck, or kind of like a suede. The rest of this upper is fly knit, right? And I got completely away from, and you got the hang tag on here talking about, uh, made with at least 20% recycled content. Kudos to Nike for doing that. Um, I was saying that they could do a lot more and obviously they are slowly trying to switch over their supply chain. The problem is these are not as well loved by uh, Air Force One fans as OG Air Force Ones in any color. These are just not as loved. Uh, the Nike Air Force One Crater Flyknit, the SRP is 110. Color is white, white, sale, wolf gray. The style code is DC4831100. This is a size 12, which is a women's size 13 and a half. The size 12, the UPC is 194-955-869-789. And there's a 16 at the end. Why do I do all of that? Because on the size tag, on any uh, Nike product, you're going to get the UPC on the size tag. So you can look at the last three is 789, 789. It matches up perfectly. That's a way of authenticating your shoe. I get darker because of the white light and that's just the way lighting works see that lighting up a little bit um the dates of production here are 10 14 22 02 06 21 the small code is v o2 and that's made in vietnam why do i give you the dates of production yes i'm sure you all answered that because if you've been looking at the thousands of videos that i do the dates of production should match up with the stamp that's on the inside of the box. And remember at the beginning of the video, I said it had a stamp here. It's got a red stamp. And that red stamp reads 02-24-21-15. 02-24-21-15. Now, I go back to the inside. The date should be within a month. I always put it at four weeks. So the second date on this shoe is 02-06-21. 02-24-21. It's perfect. So we're good to go. I'm going to give you a look at these. I'll move these up so you can see that bottom in the Nike grind material that's in the insole. I think it's a cool looking shoe. Like I said, it does not resell very well. Um, certain ones, the platinum, the black, those did resell pretty well. But if you're buying these, you would have to hold these until they're completely gone. I think it's a very nice lightweight option for the spring and the summer, you know, and it's all white. And the cool thing about Flyknit is, man, you can scrub it and it'll come clean. The wrinkle, though, is always going to be there once you start wearing them. But the weave is what gives you the shape of the classic Air Force One. It's all Flyknit. That's it, except for the back, the collar, the heel tab, and the swoosh, and the eyelets are all Durabuck. That's it? Yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.